Nation Now. Good morning. Welcome to News Nation. I'm Ji Su Gi. It's January 20th and Inauguration Day. You're taking a live look there at the Capitol. Here's everything you need to know on this historic Wednesday. President-elect Joe Biden will be sworn in as the 46th president of the United States today. You'll be able to watch the full inauguration event from start to finish here on News Nation. Our coverage begins at 10 a.m. 9 central. News Nation anchor Joe Donlin and a team of correspondents will be spread across Washington to bring you live coverage. And this morning, News Nation anchor Aaron Nolan and I will also provide you with live digital coverage as President Donald Trump departs the White House. This is a video farewell message that he posted yesterday that you're looking at. In his address, President Trump said he will pray for the success of the next administration. He also talked about the Capitol riots and his accomplishments. You can watch the president's complete farewell address at newsnationnow.com. And new this morning, during his final hours in office, President Trump granted more than 70 pardons and 70 commutations. Trump granted a full pardon to former White House aide Steve Bannon. Other pardons include rapper Little Wayne and Kodak Black, former mayor of Detroit Kwame Kilpatrick, and former congressman Randall Duke Cunningham. Trump did not pardon himself or any of his family members. Today, Kamala Harris will make history. She will become the United States' first female, first black, and first Asian American vice president. People in her maternal grandfather's hometown in India are gearing up to celebrate today. Harris's mother was born in India, was a physician, cancer researcher, and civil rights activist. Her father immigrated from Jamaica and was a professor of economics at Stanford University. Yesterday, Vice President-elect Harris and President-elect Biden honored the 400,000 Americans who have died from COVID-19. The two led a lighting ceremony at the reflecting pool at the Lincoln Memorial. It was followed by a moment of silence and 400 bell tolls at the National Cathedral. Across the country, landmarks participated in the lighting ceremony from the Empire State Building in New York City and the Space Needle in Seattle. And trending this morning, celebrities are descending upon Washington, D.C. in person and virtually for a star-studded inauguration. Lady Gaga will sing the national anthem this morning, and Jennifer Lopez and Garth Brooks will also perform. And this evening, several artists, including Bruce Springsteen and John Legend, will perform during a Celebrating America event hosted by Tom Hanks. I'm G. Thanks so much for watching. Stay with us throughout the day for breaking news coverage and also coverage of the inauguration. Have a great Wednesday, everybody. Start your morning with News Nation. Top headlines and trending stories delivered straight to your inbox for free. Go to newsnationnow.com newsletter to sign up.